Hello? So I thought I'd do a bit of a different experience video this time round. And instead just go for standard banner characters this time. So for the most part I'd say it's more to do with these kind of characters. That kind of area. D Luke, for example, I don't think I'll focus on him just because I'd say his stats here are really quite good already. So especially for Mona and Daya. Uh, Maybe Chi Chi, possibly even Kaching. So I'll start on these two, given that they're not even fully ascended yet. Anyway, for now, the stats we're looking at are okay. NGV charge is very good for some reason. Let's see. I use a weapon I don't recognise. Oh, was this an event weapon or something? Oh, okay. So this just makes normal and charged attacks do more damage. Okay, her talents are five six six. I mean, it's not too bad. Now, funnily enough, I have actually been farming one of the artifacts for her. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm going to have to edit a lot of this out. Her artifacts and Deus take me way too long. Especially since the whole point of this was just to see if I could make them usable. Here we go, Nymph Stream. Now, I know this is far from the optimal set. From what I've learnt, it's either Noblesse or, like, I think Emblem. But I've decided to do something a bit different for her. And then just two-piece Heart of Death. Okay, there's no health or anything. It is just pure damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna level up a few of the promising looking artifacts and see which ones are the best out of them. Right, so we have a few artifacts. I'm also going to take into consideration that I don't have as many Heart of Death. I mean, I might end up doing strong boxes later, we'll see how it goes. But if I have a good Heart of Death, I should prioritise that over Nymph Stream. Okay, yeah, now that I've looked through it, this one is by a long shot the best one. Right, we have a few more feathers by the looks of it. Lovely. So let's look at what it is at now. <laughs> Okay, so could do with better crit rate. Crit damage is good. NGV charge is still good. Hydra bonus, brilliant. Right, got Hydra damage here. NGV charge is amazing. Finally, we've got crit damage, which is the one I think we could definitely improve on. Actually, first of all, I'd say crit rate's probably more important, isn't it? Difference is crazy. Ooh, that could be good as long as it doesn't do defense. It's gonna do defense, isn't it? Never mind, it actually ended up being quite good. I can't work out where this 128 is from. Oh, I get it now. So there's an extra 50% or so, because it doesn't get added unless she's actually in the party for some reason. Yeah, for some reason it just feels like I'm playing on easy mode now, after fighting all those local legends in that land. So, for now, I'll move on to Dea, but I might go back to Mona later to see if I can maybe make some changes to the artifacts, all of that kind of stuff. So, another one I need to ascend by the looks of it. Also, I'm not really sure what weapons are best on her. For now, I've been using probably one of the worst weapons in the game. Actually, maybe the new one would help. That's pyro related. Anyway, I use Emblem of Severed Fate. Oh. My. God. I didn't realise that was the set I was using beforehand. That is a crazy coincidence. Oh dear. Yeah, this is annoying to watch back. I'll look into it a bit for whether that's actually good on her or if that's just bad. 566 six on talents. I think that's the same as Mona, funnily enough. Then we have just average stats, I guess you could say. Oh, actually, for the Nymph's Dream Domain, there's also this set, isn't there? That one gives plus 20% health. Wait a second. Is this set not amazing on her? So I take it health is just the way to go, right? Wow. That's quite the crit damage, huh? Okay, so crit rate should be a bit of a priority right now, shouldn't it? I'm gonna have to be honest with you all here. This goes on for way too long. In fact, let me put a marker here, so we can look back at this. Right. So yeah, I did multiple recordings since it would have gone on for even longer if that was the case. As you can see, I'm literally going through these artifacts the entire time. Trust me on this, I'm not skipping through anything crazy. I do a bit of damage testing. What was it again? Awful. And I basically find out that Mona does kind of okay damage, and Dea is stuck at doing a couple thousand damage per burst hit. I use the strong box a lot. I then go through Chi Chi. I don't change her throughout that entire thing, by the way. I also then go through Kaching. Oh boy. That, that's a whole nother thing. I go through so much effort just to get the four piece on her. 
just found another good artifact, at the very least a promising one, and it ended up being worse. I also then changed Aya's weapon at some point. You might be wondering what on earth this has to do with anything, and you're right, it is kind of random if I'm being honest. If you saw this, basically I actually managed to work out how to do all that stuff, and I thought, you know what, well, give a quick update on how that stuff is going. So yes, I've actually been getting some of the achievements done, but the most important part is you're probably wondering why on earth I ended up doing this halfway through. This gets into a bit of a rabbit hole. As you may know, there's a way you can make artifacts. However, to make some of them, they cost quite a lot of the elixir, and there's only one way to get the elixir other than combining other artifacts you have to make it or something like that and it's through exploration and yes i had to get all the obsidian rings that took a while and through doing all this exploration from getting the obsidian rings i got a bit distracted and you know i was nearby a local legend at the time so i thought you know what let's just do this again i even ended up doing a bunch of world quests for the exploration how on earth did I get myself into this? I thought this was just a regular world quest. I've got all of the rings. And yes, I did all of it just to get these. Also, I've got to say, this yellow fragment stuff that took so long. The other two didn't take too long at all, to be honest. But this one, I basically got all of the chests that could possibly have the fragments in. My exploration progress is significantly higher now. Right, first one. That's, that's what we're looking for. Uh, what are these? Oh, artifacts. Oh. Oh my word. I'll see what all of those are in a second. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Ooh, that one could end up being quite... Actually, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that one's quite good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. For... Well, not really. Not good. I mean, it's alright, but a circlet with that main stat, not ideal. Oh yeah, this is the one that I recognised before. Yeah, this is the one that I was wondering how you actually got the rings of before because I saw it required this. Right, again I'll see in a second of what these stats are. It's very nice though that they give just tons of 5 star artifacts here as well. So 30 if you do all the rings. And also there's presumably going to be another 3 rings that you have to get when the other tribes come out. Okay, this one's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. That one's decent. That could be good, depends on what the final substat is. That one's good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Being back here instantly just reminded me of the Archon quest. Okay, here we go. Right. Oh my word, it actually just cut out now. I didn't move from when I realised it stopped. Right, so then the final artefacts. Yeah, these aren't amazing either by the looks of it. Ooh, okay, that's a good one. What's that one again? Yeah. Right, so we've got a few good artifacts out of that. But quite importantly, the main reason why I've been getting these, of course, for the, the elixir. Now normally, I wouldn't be using this on one of the random characters I'm building right now. This should be something I'd use on one of my main characters. I've been using up quite a lot of resin, and despite that, I can't seem to get a fourth Thunder and Fury piece for one of these two. 
Now, I have been looking into things and I have noticed that flower here cost one, same with the feather, sand thing cost two, this one cost four, and that one three. For anyone wondering how I got my fourth elixir, it was from leveling up this thing. And unfortunately, the two artifacts I'd want a different one for are the most expensive ones. But that being said, I think I should prioritise the circlet. Not only because it's one less elixir to craft, but if we look at the substats, I'd say the goblet's still better right now. Now, I also want to think very carefully here because I could choose between crit rate or crit damage for the main stat. Spoiler alert, I'm an idiot. Given that there's talents like this where crit rate goes up, it's better to typically go for more crit damage for that kind of thing. So, I am thinking maybe go for more crit damage and then have crit rate as the substat. Now, I have heard some people complain because they end up actually getting quite a bad artifact after leveling up the one they make here. However, I'm pretty sure no matter how this one turns out, as long as I choose the beginning of substats, it'll still technically be better than what I've got right now. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I got NGV charge as well. Oh, alright, alright. It might even end up being a bit too good for her. I mean, this artifact's already better than most of the ones I have for Circlet. Right, moment of truth. What is the fourth substat? Holy moly. Okay, that's a relief. This is already one of my best circlets ever then. My word. Right, final stat, what will it be? Alright. Now there's a more important focus. Crit rate. It never gets solved. Actually, let's see how it goes for the classic boss. Don't blink! Go. Let's get it on! Shadows of your dead meat! Decided by destiny! Nowhere to hide! Incoming! Hey! Is that 15 cages now? I'd say the only other focus would then be sorting out the artifacts on Daya. Because, well, still got health on these two. Okay, a bit of an explanation is needed, I'm pretty sure. Basically, at some point, I realised that attack percent, or maybe NGV charge on sands, and then pyro damage on the goblet was actually the best way to get damage on her. It never got solved. Alright, I've looked into things with the artifacts and everything. I feel like ka overall, if I solve this whole crit rate problem, that build's fine, I don't really need to do anything else. Chi Chi, okay, Chi Chi's is really bad, right? What's that, two point, I didn't even know crit rate could go that low on an artifact. But because I'm mainly just using her for the healing, I wouldn't really say it's much of a focus anyway. I was looking into Mona recently. I feel like she is fine right now. I mean, the crit rate and crit damage are all right. NG recharge is good. And hydro damage here was like, what, 75 or something when I actually have her in the party. Attack 1,500. I would say, overall, I don't really need to focus on her as much now. I think this is the actual focus at this point. I mean, crit isn't too shabby. Energy recharge really stood out to me. I noticed that having no other pyro character really messes up getting the burst back. And from what I've heard, it's ideal to even have up to possibly 200 if you don't have another pyro character in the team. And if we look at the team again, we've got Kaching, who's the main DPS, Mona, who kind of acts as a burst support and just hydro application overall, Chi Chi, cryo application and healing, and Daya, well, she puts down her skill for the interruption stuff, that can help, but I want her burst to actually be quite good. But for that, I kind of need to make her a bit of a DPS almost, rather than just pure shield support kind of thing. Now, the weapon, I'd say that's fine. The artifacts, don't get me wrong, that's a good set for DPS. That extra health, that's of course used in most of her damage dealing stuff. And the four piece, that literally increases damage as well. And taking damage is literally made for her. And if I manage to get these two with main stats I'd want like pyro damage bonus, this could end up being really good. However, NGV charge is still a problem. I could swap this for NGV charge. 
but unless I have the emblem set, I can't lose out on damage. You can probably guess where I'm going with this. So now my goal is something very annoying. It's to completely change the build. This is annoying to watch back, not to mention possibly energy recharge here and possibly pyro damage there. That's not going to be easy. I mean, to be fair, I could actually just look at ones I've got so far, let's see. So I mean, this is a possibility. We'll see, we'll see. You know what, I might just equip them for now. Ooh, that really took a hit there. Also, with that emblem set, I could actually do with more of them. It's not just for Dea. Even Raiden here doesn't have amazing artifacts. I mean, I only have one artifact on her that has both crit rate and crit damage. Bench recharge, crit rate, and now crit damage instead of health. That's a bit nicer. Just needs more crit rate now. Okay, I think this is a sign. I'm pretty sure my artifact luck is starting to turn around. My word. So, after a bit more testing and everything, I then decided to really put it to the test and fight a weekly boss. However, what I completely forgot about at the time was that this one in particular has hydro and electro resistance. And secondly, this then happened the day after. So, just in case I didn't go through the build previously, these are the artifacts. Now I've got 4 piece emblem. This isn't on set and that's going to be important in a second. And I've got that one as well. So these are the two which weren't ideal. Yeah, I can't really remember whether this is included or not. But basically, I had done the emblem domain a fair bit. And despite everything, I couldn't get an attack or energy recharge sans. And this part is what annoys me. This is the artifact I end up just using at the end, right? This goblet here. And I've realised, and just for clarity, I'm doing this like a day after I finished up this video. And I seem to have forgotten that since one of the artifacts here isn't on set, it means I can afford to have an offset one that actually has the stats I'd want. So if I went to pyro damage bonus here, would you look at that? A spare pyro damage bonus artifact. I'm not gonna go crazy, so I'm just gonna go to this boss again, just to see simple damage stuff. For it. Let's see here. 7,000. 7,000 crit. Yeah, that's actually significantly more powerful. So, this has already been a couple of days since the last thing you've seen right here. There's only one other thing I want to try. A weekly boss that doesn't have resistance against any of my elements. Let's get it on! Hey! Nowhere to hide! Shadows of- You asked for it! Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. For some reason, the hardest part about the entire boss fight for this team for some reason was this part. I mean, for crying out loud, I somehow managed to go back on the progress bar at some points. So I'm just gonna make it more simple and skip this part. Let me scrub! Rise. Written in the stars! Speed of light! Let's get it on! Don't blink! Nowhere to hide! 
secret name. Fortune Preserve. Speed of light! Hey! Shadows of fate! Delved into... Life goes on. I do have to apologise that I didn't really go through all the standard characters. I only went through the weakest ones I had. Especially if you're new to the game, trying to work out which standard characters are best. I wouldn't necessarily completely base it off what you've seen. Because if I'm not mistaken, there should still be a couple of weeks before that 3-5 star select thing goes away. So if you're still trying to decide, I hope this might help. So this is especially going to be targeted for any of you new players. I imagine if any of you have played enough of this game, you've probably already decided by now. He's a pretty solid character. I mean, I've got him strong enough to be able to get his echo here. I also use a 5-star weapon on him. It's a fairly solid one. It's also from the standard banner. The artifacts I use are actually ones that you typically get just from killing bosses and stuff like that. I actually have him C2 as well, so I've gotten him three times. And his talents, 677. Seven, seven. If you want another little damage thing to see, like just his physical damage alone is fairly decent, I'd say. His burst does a fair bit of damage. And overall, yeah, his power is just quite good, I'd say. He's just a solid pyro DPS, you know? Also has the highest plunging attack damage in the game, I believe. We've also got Tainari. He's also a good character. I believe he's typically used as a sub DPS. Again, like, you know, quite good stats on him. I in fact use a 5 star bow on him as well. This one's actually, I think it's Yalan's signature bow. And I got it trying to get this one but lost the 50-50 back before. Very good bow I'd say. I haven't really got a better character to use it on, hence why it's on him. Artifact set is the same one I'd recommend for basically all Dendro characters. 755 on talents. The way you do want to use him is basically use his skill here. And then charge attacks so fast for the first three. And then maybe you just I'll use his burst you. whenever you're able to. And then finally we've got Jean, who I've already gone through in the past. Got her signature weapon. Technically I don't think it's the best on her. I don't even have a 4 piece viridescent, which is what you'd want. 6, 7, 8 talents. And overall, actually just quite fun character to use. I mean, you can literally just do this to all the enemies. Send them flying. <laughs> and also, just quite an easy one to build because it's all on attack. Both the healing and the damage. Now, for ones I've shown like a chain, it wasn't actually the best kind of team to show them. Because unless I'm mistaken, they're only actually good with Dendro. And if you've been told by someone to go for Dea because of uh, the whole dragon spine invincibility thing, do bear in mind, this is the passive talent that actually does it. That's not something you'd get as a new player. That's the fourth ascension, which means you'd have to get beyond level 60 on this. Besides, if you ever are struggling on dragon spine, look at this kind of stuff. So with all that being said, you might be wondering what the best kind of ones I'd recommend are. And first of all, if there's one you actually just want overall, do that one. If you want just pure damage, good regardless. Someone like D-Luke. With a certain team, where they then do good because of it. Someone like Kaching, Jean, Tainari, Mona, those kind of characters. In terms of how fun they are to play, I'd say maybe Jean, Tainari, arguably Mona because she goes really fast when you try Spoonton and also goes over water. Yeah, so for the most part, One, for Chi Chi and Dea, I'd say you should probably only get them if it's for you actually just liking the character or something like that. 
I wouldn't recommend these two in terms of actual damage dealing or anything like that. You might also want to take into consideration that characters like your Ching, like I said before, they only really work better with Dendro. So if you don't maybe have Dendro characters or you actually want them to be more versatile, then I wouldn't really recommend a character like this. You might also want to take into consideration that it's easier to level up characters in one stat and Li away, because you have those nations locked earlier on. Tainari and Dea, for example, you have to go all the way over to Sumeru for their level up stuff. Not to mention as well that their best artifacts are typically unlocked through domains which require you to be a much higher adventure rank. So for them to actually be good with damage at all, it might actually take you much longer. For characters like Dear Luke and Jean, for example, you get them at one stat, so you can level them up really easily. They mainly just get built on attack, so it's typically easier to build them. So yeah, I think that's about it.